all right guys so I am about to get started in my sewing area you can see my sewing machines are there but this is normally where I make most of my wigs and I'm actually going to quickly go through the things that you are going to need um, I definitely have my tablet here for my notes so I can stay on track because this is going to be a very detailed video as best I can but let's talk about the hair now you can use whatever hair you want you can use virgin hair beauty supply store hair doesn't matter this is beauty supply store hair however I got it from hairwigharlem.com um, I prefer to get hair online because it comes out uh, less expensive than at most beauty supply stores I have the let me focus in the baby soft wave I have a 10 inch 12 inch and a 14 inch and this is the Otre brand natural premium natural Indian um, Remy hair so this is what I'm going to be using to do my wig with other things that you're going to need I prefer to use a dome cap you can use an elastic cap it's the same material or you can use whatever wig cap you want it doesn't matter you can use uh, two stocking caps if you want to and double it up but I prefer this because it just the glue and everything with the hair it just adheres better and I like the thickness of it so I like thicker fabrics so this is what I am going to be using you're going to need a pair of scissors because you definitely want to cut your tracks or your wefts, whatever you call it. And you're going to need a comb that's going to help because you're going to be dealing with heat and you're probably not going to want to have to deal with your fingers getting burnt. <laughs> and here are, this is both my hot glue gun. I have two hot glue guns you can choose whichever one you want my small one is a low temperature high glue gun and my big one which is blue is a high temperature now you can find these at craft stores fabric stores walmart target just in the crafts area and you can get a glue gun that is dual temperature meaning that it can be high and low high or low whichever one you want to call it but I prefer to use the high temperature one because um, the glue lasts longer I have used it with the low temperature and I still get the same results but I'm going to use a high temperature uh, glue gun you'll need glue sticks for that and this is a multi temp one and I have the ones and the sizes based on the glue guns that I have so as you can see I have the smaller ones for this glue gun which is the low temp and I have the larger ones which is for my high temperature um, hot glue gun so yeah when you are going to do a hot glue gun wig it really doesn't matter I just prefer the high temperature because of the stick and the durability of the wig later Last but not least, you are going to need a wig head. I use a foam wig head that I have taped based on the circumference of my head. Yes, I have done a video on how I did this and I'm probably going to be doing an updated one um, just because it's 2014 and the last one I did was two years ago and I have thought of some things that would probably help. So. But yeah, this still works for me. I am going to do another video on it, but you are going to need a wig head because you do not want to do a hot glue gun wig on your head. It's not a quick wig. And you are definitely going to need something to protect your wig head from the glue and the sticking on. So definitely use a shower cap or plastic bag. Alright, so you got to set your cap up. So, things you're going to need. <laughs> you're going to need your dome cap on your head. And yeah, my hair is growing out. <laughs> you're going to need your dome cap on your head, making sure your hair is flat as best as you possibly can. Plait it, uh, corn rolled, twist out, braid, whatever. It needs to be flat. So even when you wear your wigs, your hair needs to be flat so that it's perfect because we're using hot glue gun that does not have any give or stretch to it whatsoever because we're not sewing it. So 
with that you're going to also need three other things you're going to need a white pencil maybe an eyeliner pencil or a cream eyeliner pencil anything light you're going to need a light uh, pencil to draw on this wig cap with and you're definitely going to need a um, eyebrow pencil sharpener handy and you are going to need a tape measure so I have my tape measure so the first measurement you want to take most important is the circumference and the reason why you want to take the circumference so that you can make sure that this actually stretches over your uh, wig head approximately same size as the circumference of your head if not maybe a couple of um, inches not too many inches maybe an inch or so wider preferably close to your head so I'm at 21 and a half so I wouldn't have a problem if it's at 22 make sense so you need the circumference so that your cap stretches according to the circumference of your head because you have to put it on your head like a helmet so again 21 half 21 and a half is where I'm at so if mine stretch out to 22 no big deal any further than that it's gonna be too big any smaller than 21 and a half it's going to be too small and you're not going to get it over your head so since this wig is not going to have a separate closure like a lace closure silk base closure or a little circular closure I'm going to actually be closing it up myself with the hair you need to make uh, three markings the first marking that I'm going to take is from ear to ear and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil and draw well just kind of make a line here and here and I'm going to try my best to get all the way around to meet the other side as best I can don't be afraid to use a mirror <laughs> oh I'm pretty good at this Cool. so that's your first one your second one is really at the nape of your head I want to just say right here so I'm gonna make a dot here and one here let's make sure <laughs> that took Yep, so one there and one there. What that does is that give you the marking for your first track is from here to here and then you keep going up until you get to this line. All right, so your last marking will be dead top center of your hair or where you want that closure to fall. Here, here, it's totally up to you. I want it to fall about right here so I'm going to make a dot there and then I'm going to draw a not so even circle so I can remember anywhere in that radius that's where the center of my head is going to be for my hair. Now here is a recap and this method can also work for those who choose to sew their tracks instead of gluing them. So now I have the prepared cap on the wig head and I'm going to pin it at the nape marks.
Then I'm going to take my tape measure and make sure the cap is stretched according to the circumference measurement noted earlier. Then I will pin it in place at the temple marks. You can click on the image or link below to go to the next parts of this series. For more tips on wig making, check out my Wig Making 101 playlist.